Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. In a previous test, I tilted the waste valve, either an easy close or a hard close, to see if it would produce more or less water up top. And uh, those results were pretty good. If you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description down below. In this video, I want to see how much water the easy close versus the hard close versus the regular upright valve position uses. So let me show you the setup real quick. Normally the ram pump would be used in a creek or small river. In my case, I have got a five gallon bucket with float valve and that comes down a half inch PVC drive pipe. And so for the test, I've got this five gallon bucket down here that I'm going to capture the water in and we will time, I don't know, one minute or two minutes to see how much water goes into that bucket. Um, so the delivery pipe is just shut off. We don't need that for today. Now, <laughs> nothing says scientific experiment like letting a bunch of environmental rain fill up your bucket at the same time, but it's been raining for days and so we're just gonna run with it. Um, but, so the first thing I wanna do is tilt this to the easy close position. Uh, right now it's in the hard close. And what do I mean by that? The flapper valve in there requires a bit uh, more force to close in this position. When it's tilted over to the other side, it will need less force to close. And we want to see what kind of difference we have in the water consumption from the source. So let me go ahead and tilt that and set this umbrella down. Yeah. Hopefully I can keep the lens clear. Um, so let's see here. Let's just tilt this whole thing over this way. So basically the valve is tilted uh, so it closes easier in this position. So, all right, let me empty out this bucket and we will start our first test. I'll have to move it over here to this side, I guess. Just using a stopwatch here. Let's do a minute and a half. So you can see that thing is cycling super fast. We'll see how much water it consumes. Let's get this umbrella. Cover our bucket. So this easy tilt position definitely does not pump as much water up top as the normal position and the hard close position. All right, there's a minute and a half. Let's see how much water we've used. I think we'll measure this in the same spot each time so we know how about on this right here. Don't really have a good marker indicator. Let's just say it's right here at this uh, SEAU, whatever that says. And for the test where the valve is straight up and down, I'm gonna time for a minute and a half and then we will measure again to see what kind of water we've consumed. I think it's capturing all the water. Okay, and there's the end of the test with the valve straight up and down in the normal position. I put some leaves out here so I can put this back in the same spot. Slightly tilt it over here. Okay. So our previous value was right here. Our new value is up here on this line where children can fall into the bucket. Uh, so that's our new amount of water used. Basically probably twice the amount. So my prediction is that the hard closed valve uh, value is gonna be up here uh, close to this line because it pumps um, a lot more water up top. So if it doubles each time, then uh, that's my assumption. So let's go with that. All right, on this configuration, I'm adding this bubble wrap over cardboard because this 
valve configuration will splash a lot higher. And now for the third and final test, I have the waste valve in the hard closed position. I'm going to hold up this bubble wrap and cardboard because this will spray a lot further. Let's test out a minute and a half to see what kind of flow we've got here. You can see that definitely sprays further. Okay, and there we go. That's the water in the final test. Let's see how close we got to that other line up there. Well, about midway. So, started off right here, second one was up here, third one is right there. Well, we've concluded that the hard close uses more water, but also pumps more water. The straight up and down uses a medium amount of water and pumps medium up top. And then the easy close position allows you to pump less water up, but also use less water. So that's all good information to have. So what is the reason for testing out these different valve positions? In the easy close, it doesn't require as much force or water to close the valve. And so you can have a lower input head pressure. Typically I recommend two and a half feet, three feet is even better, but you can actually get this pump to work on two feet of drop if you have the valve tilted in the easy close. You just can't expect as much lift out the top. Now I typically have people use the valve straight up and down. It's a good medium amount of flow up top and water consumption. And then you can see here, uh, I'm not exactly sure that was two and a half gallons for that, um, for a minute and a half. So. Uh, it just basically depends on the amount of water you have in your source and the head pressure you have. So if you have a pretty good amount of head pressure, you can do the hard closed position, get more water up top as long as you have the flow rate to go along with that. So anyway, just different ways you can use the pump to get uh, your desired output or if you have a limited input. Um, so basically you can see that you... Uh, use less than a gallon a minute down here on the uh, easy close and up here it's probably still less than two gallons a minute uh, since we were running at a minute and a half on our test anyway hope that helps i definitely am learning as we go along rain has stopped now so anyway thanks for watching i'm seth johnson with land a house if you want to buy your own pre-assembled hydraulic ram pump I have these for sale at landahouse.com and also on Amazon and eBay. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.